Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Diana Kofma, and I am an international uh, officer at Babbage Boya University in Cluj Napoca. Um, today, uh, I will present uh, our university together with uh, our colleague, Corina Todia, uh, the admission officer of our university. Hello, Corina. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Diana. I'm very glad to meet you and to have you here. My name is Corina. I'm an admission officer in, in Babesh Boy University for several years now. And I would be glad to answer your question in the uh, uh, chat area. So um, feel free to, to ask us any question you have, uh, but also um, uh, pay attention to the presentation that Diana has prepared for you. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Corina. Uh, now I'm going to share my screen, share uh, the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation. So I hope everything is uh, is fine, and you can uh, you can see our uh, PowerPoint presentation. Um, uh, Babish Boya University is an academic educational public institution located in. Cluj-Napoca in the Transylvania region. You might have already heard about Transylvania, located at the heart of, uh, of Romania. You should know that this is the largest, uh, the oldest, and in many aspects, the most uh, prestigious university in Romania. In this picture, you have the image of the, the uh, main building of uh, our university. Um, Romania, I would say, is a middle-sized country located at the crossroads between of uh, the central, southern, and eastern uh, Europe. Uh, in the northern part, we have as neighbors uh, Ukraine. In the eastern part, uh, there is the Republic of Moldova and the uh, Black Sea. In the southern, we have Bulgaria, while in the western part, we have uh, Serbia and uh, Hungary. Uh, due to our geographic uh, location, we have uh, temperate, uh, temperate continental uh, climate, which means that we experience both uh, uh, summer and winter with all of their characteristics, hot and low temperatures, rain, snow, etc. Uh, now I'm going to talk a little about our uh, city. Uh, here you have um, the largest, uh, the two largest city in Romania, Bucharest, the capital city, and the second largest, Cluj-Napoca, they are not to be confounded. So if you decide to come to Romania, which would make us very happy, um, and decide to land to Bucharest, you should know that there is still a six-hour uh, travel by car to Cluj-Napoca or one hour flight um, by plane. Uh, Krishnapoka is a 200 years uh, old uh, 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 city, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, it is located in, at the heart of Transylvania uh, and the population of our city in the metropolitan area is uh, more than uh, 400,000 uh, people having more than 100,000 college students each year. Uh, it is a cosmopolitan and multicultural city. Uh, we have a lot of museum, parks, sports facilities, and an internationally acclaimed botanical garden. So you have a lot of extracurricular activities to, to do besides our academic uh, offer. Um, our university is a Humboldtian university, which means that besides teaching and learning, we are focused on a research component as well. Uh, we have uh, the largest academic tradition among the Romanian universities, as already stated. Well, we started as Academia or Universitas Claudopolitana in uh, 1581. Uh, we have been ranked as a four-star university uh, by a QS star evaluation. QS star uh, is a British organization who, which has uh, evaluated in depth uh, dozens of indicators of, of our university, among which uh, the employability of our graduate students and um, the, the level of interna internationalization. 
uh, in the academic ranking of world universities, UBB occupied in 2019 um, uh, seventh, uh, uh, 701 to 18th position at the international level and the first rev, uh, level in Romania. Uh, we have been admitted at, as the 20th member of the Guild of uh, European Research Intensive Universities. Uh, uh, this um, uh, 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 um, uh, organization, the Guild European Research Intensive Universities, um, has admitted us along with the University of Bern, Uni University de Paris, University of Louvain, University of Glasgow, just so you have an idea of the sound names of uh, the partners in these uh, organizations. And the degrees conferred by Babesh Boy University are fully recognized. Uh, and when we say that they are fully recognized, it means that uh, if you wish to study or to work in another country after you have graduated at our university, you simply have to go to the uh, to the recognition procedure, which is particular to each country, uh, but as a general rule, and uh, there won't be any problem with the recognition of your studies. These are the countries that we that we cover. From these countries, uh, our international students come. You can see a patchwork of cultures here. Uh, I would uh, I would mention in what regards Africa, for example, Nigeria, Senegal, or Morocco. Uh, as far as Europe is concerned, we have students coming from Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, France, Germany, Greece, Cyprus, and so on. Uh, as um, to Asia, we have students from Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Kazakhstan, Thailand, Vietnam, Japan, China, Russia, and so on. Uh, from the Middle East, we have students coming, uh, namely from Kuwait, Lebanon, Egypt, Iran, Jordan, Turkey, Syria, Palestine. Um, from the North American continent, we have students coming from Mexico, El Salvador, Haiti, or the USA, the United States of America themselves. Um, in what regards South America, we have students coming from Brazil, Colombia, Chile, Peru, Bolivia, and so on. Uh, here we have some figures just to, just to be aware of the scale of our university. Uh, we have more than 8,000 master students, more than 2,000 uh, PhD students, almost 3,000 3, teachers and more than 3,000 undergraduate students. At the undergraduate level, uh, besides the 148 specializations in Romanian, we uh, have uh, 40 speci uh, 7 specializations in Hungarian, 14 specializations in English, 10 specializations in German, and one specialization in French. So you can see we have multilingual uh, teaching at, uh, at uh, Babesh Boya University in uh, four main international languages. The areas that we cover through this specialization are in mathematics, computer science, physics, chemistry, chemical engineering, environmental science, environmental engineering, security studies, finances, management, accounting, international business and economics, international relations and business, business administration, political sciences, communication sciences, and administrative sciences. Bear in mind that this was the bachelor level. Now, at the master's level, we have uh, 143 specializations in Romanian, but uh, as a national student, you can uh, opt for 40 specializations in Hungarian, three specializations in French, one specialization in Italian, five specializations in German, and 36 specializations in English. We cover domains such as, again, mathematics and computer science at master's level, 
physics, chemical engineering, chemistry, environmental sciences, environmental engineering, law, philology, international relations and European studies, political sciences, management, accounting, business information system, international relations and European studies, business administration, administrative sciences, political sciences, communication sciences. Uh, if some, something draw your attention that uh, this specialization is not available, uh, it is available only in Romanian language, you shouldn't worry because we offer this uh, Romanian language preparatory year for the non-native speakers of Romanian language. Um, the admission procedure is quite simple. Uh, you simply have to gather some documents which are related basically to your previous uh, um, academic background or high school background, if such is the case. Uh, you send them to our Center for International Cooperation and then Corina will do her magic and uh, help you to get the acceptance letter. Um, the Romanian language preparatory year follows the structure of the academic year, which uh, means it, start, it starts in October and it will last until June. Uh, it comprises uh, 25 hours of courses per week, which means that it's, it is an intensive uh, uh, language course. But after this, you can enroll in one of uh, our Romanian specialization. Please bear in mind that before uh, applying for this Romanian preparatory year, you need to decide on your specialization, uh, on, on your uh, study specialization before. Uh, another alternative for uh, studying Romanian language in a shorter program are the Transylvania International Summer Courses uh, organized each year uh, in July. Uh, this poster is from last year's edition. This year we have uh, an anniversary edition. We have half a century. Uh, the courses comprise, comprise of uh, 60 hours courses over a three week period. And uh, besides the courses, we organize a lot of cultural and social activities in the afternoon in order to better discover the, civil the Romanian civilization. By participating to these courses, you will be granted with uh, four credits and with a certificate of attendance. Our university takes part in a lot of international programs. Uh, the most important of them are um, the Fulbright program, uh, oriented uh, rather towards the mobilities uh, in the US. Uh, the steepest program offering mobilities rather in uh, the European area, the DAAD scholarship programs, uh, focusing on the German speaking students and the Makovets program, which uh, is directed towards the Hungarian-speaking students. I am pretty sure that you are already familiarized with the Erasmus Plus program. Uh, you might know that as international students, you will compete, in order to take part in these programs, you will compete with uh, Romanian students the same region. In what regards the facilities that our university offers, you should know that you will benefit from uh, 17 dormitories. Each dormitory, uh, each dormitory has the free internet access and reading rooms, uh, car parking space, laundries, uh, social areas, fitness, fitness rooms, and so on. You can opt for rooms having two, three, or five students, and the prices uh, range from 25 euro per month up to, let's say, 50 euro per month, depending on the number of students per room. And uh, you can also opt for uh, private accommodation in the city, and this would mean somewhere between 150 euros to 200 euros per room. As a student, canteens and cafes are indispensable.
Oh, Corina, I think uh, Diana has just uh, left. Uh, I think she has a problem with the internet. Uh, I don't know. Uh, she's in another place. Uh, I, I think it's a technical problem. I'm, I'm not sure. Should I call her maybe? Yes, could you please? Okay. Teknik bir sorun yaşıyoruz arkadaşlar. Biraz beklemenizi rica edeceğiz. She has a technical problem, but she will. Oh, here she is. Yeah, I'm sorry for this. I think I managed to to solve it. I I guess it was the internet connection. I'm gonna share the the. Could you please share your screen again? Yes, sure, sure. Does this work now? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry for the interruption. <laughs> it happens sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna just go as possible. Yeah, we were here, I guess. Here. Uh, so we have, you should know that we have eight canteens and uh, cafes available for our uh, students and the pricing is the pricing is really convenient uh, starting from three euro per menu uh, in what regards the admission procedure for international students here you have the documents that you need to gather uh, and these are the application form the high school graduation diploma or the bachelor diploma your transcript of records your, your passport coffee the copy your medical certificate and your language certificate if applicable as well you you should enclose your um uh, uh of uh, 50 euros for the processing fee uh there is no admission exam and you should bear in mind that the registration period uh, for the in, in, in current um, academic year starts on the 1st of April and will be uh, finished by the 21st of August. Uh, the tuition fees vary. Uh, for example, we have uh, mathematics for computer science, which uh, is uh, up to 5,000 uh, 5, euro per year. Uh, at the Faculty of Mathematics, or we have security studies at the Faculty of uh, uh, History and Philology, which is uh, a bit more than 2,000 euro per academic year. Uh, in what regards the student life, you should know that each faculty uh, has uh, its own library. We have a lot of um, leisure facilities such as the botanical garden the museum the swimming complex uh the uh, uh the foreign cultural centers uh, of which you can benefit at the lower prices uh using your statute as a student at our university i encourage you to to join the student organizations as uh, these are the best way to socialize establish common grounds and friendships with your with your colleagues and um, uh, the information we generally reaches you uh, much easier in, uh, in an organized uh, uh, environment. Uh, yes, you can take part in a lot of events that we are organizing for you, such as uh, the National Day of Romania, where you can taste Romanian food and sweets. You can uh, admire traditional dance dancers and so on. Uh, you will have free access to a sports park. You can um, uh, take part in uh, trips around Romania and benefit for 
from our um, host uh, uh, facilities in Ar Arcadia and Belish training and leisure camps. These are some uh, cities uh, near uh, near Krishnapoka. A lot of sports competitions, theaters and opera uh, activities, cinemas, malls and festivals are waiting for you in Krishnapoka, not in this period particularly as we experience the pandemic. However, a lot of them has, have moved their uh, activity online, so uh, we enjoy the talent and uh, their work. I think this was uh, enough for today. This is our webpage, uh, cci.ubbcluj.ro. Uh, uh, this is our general contact. and. Uh, here you can find the information more structured with more details uh, and if there is something that you cannot uh, cannot uh, reach here you can simply write to us and we will be more than happy to to help you with whatever information you may need um thank you for your attention and let's see if there are some questions that i might uh, be able to answer. So, um, for the moment, we do not have any representative in Turkey. Yes, we do have the Turkish um, Cultural Center. Mm, Corinna already answered a lot of the, of the questions. In order to um, be a postdoctoral researcher, I guess you first uh, need to um, establish a contact with the, the doctoral school. You, you want to enroll to and, and discuss with, uh, with that particular person the details. The living expenses in Cluj Napoca, I would say, are quite affordable for a European city. Uh, as I have told you, if you want to opt for the university uh, dormitory, that shouldn't, shouldn't uh, exceed 50 euro per month. And if you want to opt for the private uh, accommodation, that shouldn't exceed 200 euro per month. Uh, if you want to eat in a restaurant, a decent meal would be no more than maybe 8 to 10 euro, but that would be a full menu. Uh, you can have a lot of other uh, cheaper options. Uh, e the, the social activities and the, the clothing part, it's up to you. That is very personal, I couldn't estimate. Uh, but in what regards the the expenses you need to cover you need to cover for your school for your uh, study process that shouldn't be more than let's say 40 100 per per month so as far as the living expenses are concerned i think they are more than convenient We do have Turkish restaurants in our town. Yeah, we, we have a lot of international cuisine. So we have Vietnamese, Turkish as well. Indian. Indian, yeah. Lebanese as well. Mm. As 
the as the coronavirus pandemic situation in Romania, we were just discussing some moments ago that it seems that it is getting better a little uh, as the restaurants and the pubs are getting are, are getting open. For the moment, we do not offer the English preparatory year, but I think we're in the making. We are preparing one for the next generations. Yes. The international students, yes, they can work for hours per day. Already answered. Are there any other questions? What do you mean by do you have any American faculty members? In, in the teaching? Yes, we have the Fulbright uh, teachers. There are some some persons. Yes, but it uh, what particular subject are you interested in? We have. I don't know if you are asking this because of the language. Are you interested to better ex uh, experience the the English language? have complete uh, English line of studies, so... Uh, political science and international relations. Yeah, you can study international relations at the Faculty of European Studies um, and uh, political science as well, but you can also opt for uh, political science specialization at the Faculty of uh, Political Sciences, Administrative uh, and Communication. Administration and communication. Uh, they have, they both have English line of studies. I couldn't tell you exactly if or how many uh, American teachers they have at the moment because sometimes they have these one semester exchanges as well. So. So uh, I would like to add regarding the English, the, the American professors that you ask, uh, that mainly, I, I'm sorry if, if Diana already answered, I was very concentrated on writing the answers, but I would like to add that um, usually our, our programs in English are taught by our professors uh, mainly. 
uh, as as Diana mentioned, there are every year we have a few uh, professors coming for one year uh, with a with a Fulbright scholarship in different fields of study, and they teach in these faculties. But uh, only few of, of of those kind of professors. All the other classes in our English line programs are uh, taught by our teach our professors. But English language proficiency in, in Romania, mostly in academics and also for the students, it's quite uh, well. So they have a good uh, proficiency of English uh, because nowadays and for many, many years ago, uh, English is, is uh, taught in schools starting with uh, kindergarten. So uh, the English level, uh, it's, it's quite good. So that's why our teachers and we can develop programs entirely taught in, in English, supported by our professors. Uh, and I would also like to, to because there were several uh, questions regarding the possibility of uh, starting studies in Turkey and then continuing in Romania in our university or finishing here. Uh, I would like to tell you that uh, legally it is not it is not possible. Uh, so if you have if you want to have a diploma issued by our university, you have to register for admission to be admitted as a student. Uh, and maybe you have the possibility to recognize some of the credits and not take some exams. But you cannot just come here with the credits and finish here and have a, 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 a diploma just like that. It's, it's not possible. We can only recognize credits from our partner universities, not from all the universities all over the world. So mainly this, this would be the answer. Uh, and also concerning civil engineering, at the moment we don't have this program, uh, mostly in English, and uh, it's not possible just to submit your thesis here. You have to, to, to study and to complete your studies and then you have a, a diploma. Thank you, Corina. <laughs> If there are people who have uh, a certain study domain in mind at the moment, maybe you can leave the, the email address and uh, your interest near, and then we will come back with more information uh, that might suit your, uh, your interest. Um, yes, we do offer accommodation on campus. Uh, we have uh, uh, 17 dormitories. You can choose from dormitories with uh, two, three, or five persons in a room. Uh, and the prices would be somewhere between 25 euro per month and 50 euro per month. Um, if you want to rent an apartment, well, this depends, but uh, it depends on the location, it depends on how big the apartment is, but uh, it shouldn't be 
normally more than 200 euros per room. The weather conditions, uh, for example, now we we are going through a, I would say, mild winter. Uh, we had a little, bit of, a little bit of snow, temperatures, snow, um, no lower than minus five, let's say. During summer, we can have up to 40 degrees, 41 to degrees. And uh, this is the, the period when we do not advise people to go out in the, on the streets. Uh, however, this is the, the uh, afternoon period rather than uh, the normal temperature. And this is not the, the, the general condition of our summers. We have mild summers as well. And I suppose you know that we are quite close. The two countries are quite close to each other. It's only the Black Sea between us. So the weather is <laughs> similar, let's say. A little colder, maybe. And you you, you must also know that uh, there is a direct fly, uh, because uh, Diana was speaking a little bit at the beginning regarding the possibilities to travel to Cluj. Uh, you must know that um, we have a direct flight uh, from Cluj to Istanbul. Uh, and it takes approximately one hour, one hour and a half. Uh, so it's quite easy to reach us. The same, uh, the same distance. I mean, not. I don't know if the same distance, but the same durations uh, as if you would travel from Cluj Napoca to Bucharest. To Bucharest, yes, quite the same. Thank you. You have been to Romania several times and it is a lovely country. Thank you for this. It's not just lovely, but uh, very safe as well, I would say. Uh, to what city have you been exactly? I'm glad to see that you drove your private car to Romania. From Bucharest and Constanza, yeah. You should definitely visit Cluj as well. Were you on holiday? I'm asking because Constanza is also a seaside uh, resort, so... I see. Oh, 
Oh, that's quite interesting. <laughs> It's just that from Constanza to Cluj, it takes uh, other, let's say, 10 hours driving from Constanza to Cluj. Mm -hmm. So we are a little far away. <laughs> Regarding the working permit, uh, I would like to tell you that in Romania, uh, the legislation allows students to work for four hours a day. So the residence permit that you will receive as a student uh, will, uh, on it, it will be written studies and working, and it will allow you to work for four hours, uh, for four hours a day. Um, Regarding the, the working permit, somebody is asking if there is a possibility. So, of course, after graduation, if you will find an employer to, to, you know, to um, um, give you a job, uh, you will uh, have to apply for a working permit. Uh, it's just that also the employee, it's a little bureaucratic, let's say. The employer needs to prepare a set of documents and you also have to do that. Uh, and uh, you will receive a working permit, but I can tell you more details about the, uh, the conditions and the duration because it's not actually our area of activity. So for sure, during studies, you will have also this possibility to work. After fin finishing studies, you will have to change the permit uh, from, uh, from studies to working on condition that you find an employer and you will be officially employed by, by that company. And also the university does not, uh, uh, let's say, have an office uh, which which uh, offers you jobs. So it is, does not intermediate this part. Uh, we only have an orientation, a career orientation office for students, uh, which is actually something else. So uh, you will be on your own in finding a job, uh, but uh, almost all or many of the international students who come here for full-time studies, uh, they they manage to find work uh, quite quite easy, uh, and they they work during studies in order to support their tuition fees and accommodation and everything.
So uh, once again, uh, concerning the possibility of transferring directly in an upper year in our university, uh, it is possible only on condition that there is an agreement, an inter-university agreement between uh, your university and uh, ours. Uh, otherwise, it is not possible. Uh, and of course, there are other conditions. So if, if there is an agreement, there will be other conditions to be met, like, for example, uh, that the academic program where you want to transfer uh, must uh, be available. I mean, uh, if you are if you intend to come in the second year for, let's say, computer science in English, and there, there is no free place there, you will not uh, have this possibility. Because in Romania, the capacity, the, the, each academic program has a certain capacity, a number of places allocated, and we cannot uh, uh, accept students above this uh, number. But the first and main condition is this one, that there, there will be an agreement between the two universities, because otherwise it is not possible for us to recognize your credits. All right, I think we, we are not receiving any questions further. So uh, thank you very much for your presentation, Diana and Karina. Uh, you put a real effort answering all of the questions. We believe it was a very informational session for the participants. Also, uh, I would like to thank the attendees in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz. O beş Bolyan Üniversitesi ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için lütfen Corina ve Dayan'ın paylaşmış olduğu mail adresine iletişime geçin. Yarınki webinarlarımızda görüşmek üzere. Thank you again, Corina. Thank you. Is there anything you would like to add before we end the session? No. Okay. Thank you very much for your assistance. You're welcome. We, uh, it was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.